this is Sophie. Sophie is very happy as recently she received some support from her nurse Kelly on how to use her Minimed 780G system smart guard feature. To maintain the smart guard feature, Sophie knows that every so often her pump may request a BG. After some time had passed, an alert appeared on her pump screen with the following information. The action that is needed, time until exit from the smart guard feature. Sophie knows that the action needed message is no cause for concern. All she has to do is follow the pump's on-screen instructions to stay in the smart guard feature. Sophie's pump requires her to take action to stay in the smart guard feature, and this can occur for different reasons, such as an SG reading is not available because the calibration has expired or the transmitter and pump are not communicating. Lost sensor. Most alarms do not cause smart guard feature exits. However, some alerts, such as calibration required or BG required, do, if the action required has not taken place before the time to exit. The pump will stay in the smart guard feature for a maximum of four hours if the issue is not resolved. This allows Sophie the time to fulfill the action needed in order to continue in the smart guard feature. If Sophie takes the action needed before then, the pump will remain in the smart guard feature and there are no further steps for her to take. Whilst waiting for the issue to resolve or for Sophie to take the action needed, the insulin will temporarily be delivered based on Sophie's insulin delivery history and not on her SG readings. If more than four hours pass, Sophie's pump will go into manual mode and deliver her programmed basal rate. If this happens, the suspend before low feature will be automatically turned on by the system, if previously set to on while in manual mode. The pump will indicate on the home screen if an action is required to get back into the smart guard feature. Once the action is executed, the pump will automatically return to the smart guard feature within a few short moments. Kelly showed Sophie that when her pump has an alert, the notification light will flash. The pump will display an on-screen message explaining the alert and, depending what audio options Sophie has chosen, the pump may beep and vibrate. Today, Sophie has received the maximum delivery alert. To deal with this alert, Sophie has to perform a BG test, enter the value into the pump and wait to see if the pump determines that it is OK to resume the smart guard feature. Sophie is relaxed because she knows that all she needs to do is follow the pump's on-screen instructions to stay in the smart guard feature.